welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Come on in and have a bite. Welcome to another episode of Nibbling with the Neighbors. Today we are going to do another crock pot dinner and we're going to use boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm going to cut them up in cubes and put them into the crock pot. I'm going to add a can of cream of chicken soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of water. I will get that all started and I will get back to you to show you the process. So all I am doing here right now is cutting the fatty parts off of the chicken and then just cutting the chicken into cubes. And then I'm going to throw all of it into the crock pot. There is a lot of chicken here, mainly because um, we bought chicken to do this and then when we had our get together the other night, um, Josh and Sarah brought up some chicken too and they have left it here and it's defrosted and if we don't use it it's gonna go bad and I hate to waste food like that so I'm gonna cook it all up it'll be leftovers for a few days here but nothing wrong with that okay so I've cut up all the chicken there's a lot of chicken here <laughs> And it's all in this bowl right now. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take both cans of soup and you're going to empty them into a big bowl. Be right back. I need to get a spoon. And everything's clean in the dishwasher. <laughs> so you're going to empty everything into a bowl. dear with his pizza that I'm not allowed to have <laughs> pizza pizza so you em empty your cream of chicken and your cream of mushroom into a bowl there's so much chicken, I'm probably going to add a can and a half of water. So, okay, I'm starting out with just a can. See how it comes out. Then you're going to whisk it all together because if you just pour the soup in on top of the chicken, it's just going to be a clump of soup. You want it to be kind of thick but kind of, you know, soupy. So, it'll blend through all the chicken without, you know, sitting right on top of everything. So, let's try with one can so far. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a base in my crock pot to start with. the bottom and then I'm gonna put my chicken in. Oh, it's a lot of chicken. Okay and now I'm gonna pour my soup in. Okay and you're gonna take a big spoon and you're just gonna kind of mix it so it all goes through. It looks like one can of water and with this is going to be plenty. And this is what it will look like. Don't tip it too much because it'll fall out. But it's just chicken with some soup. So I'm going to set that back over in the crock pot. And I'm going to cover that and I am going to let that cook for six hours and that'll get us eating dinner at about 
6 o'clock, 7 o'clock tonight. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some onions and peppers. I'm not going to go with any mushrooms on this recipe today. So, I'm going to get out a knife and I'm going to cut up my onions. Again, you don't want to cut them small to the point where you know they're they're too blended in so we just have lots of you know pieces of onions that we have laying around in the refrigerator from uh, different meals that we've made so I'm just going to utilize all of those onions that have been in the refrigerator and I'm just going to cut those all up and add them in. Okay, so I'm cutting up the peppers. I'm not sure if I'm doing this the right way, but I think I saw Josh do this from Meet the Presleys. So I'm giving it a try. What you do is you cut the bottom of your pepper off, and you cut the top of your pepper off, and then you cut a slit in it, and then you could cut your little sides off as you unroll it and then it's all unrolled and pick out the last little seeds free of seeds and then you could just lay it down and slice it nice and easy so I'm gonna finish chopping these up and I will get back with you and show you what I do in the crock pot okay so I got my peppers all cut up so now I'm going to oh, drop one. <laughs> now I'm going to take them over and just put them into the crock pot. Okay, so now I have you over by the crock pot and you can see the peppers in here with the onions and the chicken now. And I'm just going to mix that all in together so that the vegetables get mix down in with the chicken and the juices from the onion or from the soups now you can add mushrooms to this you can add zucchini you can add any type of vegetables you want to this you can add more vegetables than what I added normally with this much chicken I would add more vegetables yeah sorry I wasn't planning on making this much chicken but like I said, I had all this chicken in the refrigerator, and I didn't want it to go to waste. So, guys, I just wanted to give you an update on dinner. It's about quarter after four right now, so it's only been on for about four hours. But this is what it's looking like. We got the chicken and the peppers and the onions all cooking in here. I wish... You guys could smell it because it smells really good. What do you think, babe? It smells good to me. Yeah. I think it's probably already done, too. But I'm going to let it cook a little bit longer. So this is what my dinner looks like. It's chicken, onions, and bell peppers. Looks yummy. Let's give it a taste. I don't see any vegetables on your plate. Oh, there. There's there. There's a, there's a little color. <laughs> How is it? Good. Too, good. Is it too dry? No. No. So one thumb, two thumb, two thumbs up. Yay! So this wraps up another episode of nibbling with the neighbors. Hope you all enjoy.